Ten years from now, almost all cars built will be capable of full autonomy. Getting in a car will be like getting in an elevator. You just tell it where you want to go and it'll take you there with an extreme level of safety and that will be normal, just like when you press a button in an elevator. Well, Elon Musk is probably a genius you would never see on this planet. It's like he never sleeps. He always comes up with different and interesting ideas every month. And by the way, these ideas aren't cheap at all, and they're very, very expensive ones. Well, here comes another interesting and expensive idea from the tech mogul. This time, he wants to build flying cars with rocket technology. Oh yeah, now it appears he's going to add thrusters to a new version of the Tesla Roadster car, claiming it will give it the ability to fly. I don't think it's impossible for him, but we knew it would take a lot of time, effort, and money to come up with such an impressive idea. So how does this billionaire tech plan to execute this idea? Well, watch the video till the end and you'll learn everything you need to know about these cars he says can fly in the sky. But before that, you know the drill. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up by clicking the like button, subscribe, and don't forget, click that notification bell. And trust me when I say, you don't want to miss the next videos coming your way from this channel. Yeah. Musk presented the new Roadster, a sports car he claims it's able to go 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, making it the fastest production car ever made in history, but as per his latest tweet, the car will be able to fly as well. Now, it's one thing to say that car will fly, but this would be impressive and fascinating. And he claimed that the new Roadster will actually fly. In fact, he said in his response to a tweet showing a picture of the flying DeLorean from Back to the Future, he even added he's not joking. He will use SpaceX cold gas thruster systems with ultra high pressure air and a composite overwrap pressure vessel in place of the two rear seats. Now, it's actually not the first time he suggested a flying Tesla. Back in June of 2018, he came up with an option package for a Tesla Roadster that would include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These would apparently improve acceleration, speed, and handling. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly, he had added. The fact that Musk would like to design a flying car is an open secret. We're quite positive that someone inside Tesla is working to make this reality. While we'll keep waiting, the Tesla CEO on Twitter praised British industrial designer Tom Abbott Davies' hypothetical Tesla Model V concept. The EV Tall, or the Electric Vertical Rise and Fall Vehicle, which Abbott Davies began to conceptualize while he was still a student, was inspired by the Manta Ray in 2014. It's a single-seater vehicle powered by three batteries, a 1250-kilowatt rear engine, and a dual 650-kilowatt brushless engine, and a fuselage made of magnesium with a titanium shell. Now, the billionaire tech tweeted a GIF of a car levitating back in 2019. The GIF shows the car levitating with a blue light shooting from the wheels. Now, along with the GIF, he wrote that the new Roadster will actually do something like that. The Roadster is Tesla's highest-end supercar, and according to the information on the website, the price for this car would start around $200,000. Musk isn't the only one in pursuit of a flying vehicle, though. Google co-founder Larry Page is also in pursuit of a flying car, alongside Kitty Hawk, who is an investor. In February, Kitty Hawk CEO Sebastian Thrun told CNBC, flying cars could come into accomplishment in a few years. He added that the vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL vehicle, it could soon fill the sky. And in fact, when you look at all means of transport, most of them are on the ground. The ground has limited capacity. When you get in the air, the air is almost always empty, free. And now we're at that point where we can make air-based transportation, like daily transportation, safer, faster, and actually environmentally friendly, or more than on the ground. Musk is already trying to create a battery with enough energy density to enable a plane to take off. Now, that sounds unbelievable, but technically, nothing's impossible. Not with the tech genius Musk. He also suggested there should be a supersonic jet, and it should be all electric this time. Musk suggested an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle would need about 400 watt-hours per kilogram. The ideal figure would be somewhere around 500 watt-hours per kilogram, but he plans to produce the expected battery that will lift off a plane. 
Although he didn't explicitly outline density in the main talk, he later suggested Tesla could reach that figure at a later date. It's unclear what the Tesla plane could look like, but in 2018, he said the exciting thing to do would be a vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet of some kind, suggesting he's focused on a high-speed design that wouldn't need the long runway of a current jet. Musk has been very vocal about electrification in vehicles as well. It's a category he's open to building an electric dirt bike. The design for the bike is sleek and the concept innovates with two motors, one for each wheel, which could prove particularly handy when riding uphill with ease. This bike includes all-around radar cameras and ultrasonic sensors covering the front, back, and sides of the bike to detect other cycles, cars, potholes, bumps, and more. At any time, riders can flip into autonomous mode, and in all cases, a screen shows riders the route to follow. Now, I think that's amazing. I can't wait for that. Technically, there's nothing impossible about what this billionaire tech is proposing. Either electric jet or electric bike or electric car, any of them will be a great impact to humankind. But about the electric car, the thing is it would take a lot of energy just to lift a car off the ground. So the question bothering all and sundry is, where would those energies come from? Another issue is that the air from the thrusters would escape quickly. Hovercraft may overcome this by having a rubber cushion around the base which contains the air pressure, but without a perfect scheme around the Tesla to seal the air in, getting it to hover for more than a few seconds is going to be pretty difficult. But Musk made it clear that a flying car with VTOL would be very different from the previously attempted airplane vehicles. He explained further that the battery suitable for a commercial flight would have to pack a density of at least 400 to 500 watt hours per kilogram, while right now the best batteries can only achieve about 250 watt hours per kilogram. He said they're working on it and they'll eventually design the batteries that will perform the operation. However, what could be more effective is the use of thrusters to improve vehicle performance. Many modern ships use thrusters to improve their retraction capabilities, and similar methods could be applied here, firing the thruster to rotate the Tesla at an angle and gain more power or to increase strength when it accelerates. But the weight of the system required for this may negate the reason for doing it in the first place. Sports car makers try to pull as much weight as possible out of a car, so having heavy equipment to provide thrust of air, eh, it might be self-defeating. Unless Musk has some tricks up his sleeve. More obvious, however, is that dreams of Tesla's flying car may be very distant. In fact, it looks like it will take a lot for the car to start, but managing a car to fly for a longer time may be very difficult to achieve. Musk is working towards the accomplishment of the flying car, and even though it might take a long time before we see one flying in the sky, the fact that a car hovering for a few seconds, it might still be pretty darn impressive. We just need to wait and see what Elon Musk has in store for us. So what do you think about the concept of a flying car? Do you think it's possible for the billionaire tech magnet to accomplish this, and how long will it take before we see one in the sky? Let us know in the comments below. And we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hey, click the like button and subscribe. And if you want to find out more stuff about billionaire tech Elon Musk, or if there's something else you want us to talk about, let me know by leaving a comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to reply to every message. Don't forget, subscribe, click that bell, and thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.